whole November here in Jerusalem. The striking Israeli landscape at once captures one's imagination. A winter-laden countryside far from the images of that other November. Heart-rending cries of a two-year-old baby reverberating through hush ranks of mourners, wailing for his mother, now dead, brutally gunned down by terrorists at the Nariman house. Unforgettable visuals that touched a chord across the world, baby Moshe instantly became the face of the 2611 terror attacks in Mumbai, a face that spoke for the faceless innocence wantonly murdered by 10 killing machines. Three years on, over 4,000 kilometers away, baby Moshe, happy and carefree, immensely loved by his family members. Five years old now, Moshe, just like any other kid, lives a normal life with his mother Rivka's parents in Afula, a small town in northern Israel, 120 kilometers north of Jerusalem. Also here, his nanny, Sandra Samuels, who in an act of immense courage had rescued Moshe when terrorists at Nariman house went on the rampage. Tell us how is he doing? How is baby Moshe doing? He's perfect. He, he, he has a very, you know, uh, funny humor in, in him. him. And it's like, sometimes, you know, I feel that, you know, like I'm uh, speaking to Rabbi Gabi, you know. For Moshe baby, it is very, very good in this place. And Baruch Hashem, Moishi, very, very clever and very, very happy in going every day to the school, to the kindergarten. He plays, he jumps, he dance, he read books, and he is very, very, very happy. <laughs> to mark the third anniversary of the death of their son Gabriel and daughter-in-law, the Holzbergs, Moshe's paternal grandparents, have come down from New York. The bonding unmistakable, as is the pain and trauma both families have gone through in the last three years. My wife never starts to scream all the time, cry. Because me also, you never can forget. Charles, you never can forget. In your whole your life, special Sabbath, special holidays, special becoming some happenings, weddings from children and other things. You remember all the time. Mm -hmm. Children, we never can forget. Mm -hmm. And uh, from the other side, even it's over three years, but you see, the whole world now forgetting you. The whole world staying with you. And they give you openings. They help you, they try to help you. They want to come with you now, wherever you go. How do you think about all the time? Not every minute, but... Uh, every day, every day, every day, every day. In the morning, morning, morning every day, morning, in the night, every day. It's inside, inside, this is inside 24 hours. This is every time of the, the lips. For Sandra, it's the guilt and regret that engulfs her, as she feels she could also have saved Moshe's parents. It makes me very, very sad and angry, because at that moment they could have escaped, but they didn't do it. And I could have done something which in my cowardness I didn't do. Why do you say you're a coward? You saved the baby. Yes. See, when... It's like, you know, I, when if some, that person should be there for that moment to notice it. When I pick up, I see his Ima and his Abba. And, you know, it's like, she's like this, he's like this, and this baby is here. And I pick him up and I see her. It's not that I didn't see her. I see her and I think, wow, she's sleeping like. And I run. And it's like, you know, 
it does not come in my mind at that time that I could, you know, do something. Is that regret still eating you within or you, you have made peace with uh, it? No. I think, what can I say is, I made, uh, the, I made peace within myself. So, because if I don't make peace for myself, then I'm nowhere. It's like even I'm dead and I don't want that life. Moshe naturally is too small to understand what it means to lose one's entire family, a family of five people, now reduced to him alone. When terror struck Nariman house, Gabriel and Rivka were with other Jewish guests. As emissaries, the Orthodox rabbi and his wife ran the Khabar house, serving travelers. Mumbai was their home for over five years. Shalom, Shmiri, yourself. Six persons, including Moshe's parents, were killed at the Khabar house. Days later, Moshe's elder brother, Dov, succumbed to a degenerative disease, as did their oldest brother, Mendy, who also died a few years ago to the same disease. You know, the father and mother, this is in the, in the sky. And she you speak of this. The baby speak of this uh, like uh, open evidence. The baby said also, my father and mother is dead because the, the, the terrorists the terrorist kill. I think so. Moshe knows that. Moshe yeah. knows this, yeah. He speaks to everybody. Speak to everybody. Every night before she goes to sleep, she say, Abba and Ima, father and mother, Good night, I go to sleep. You have the picture. In the after bed, sleep. after the bed, every day. Before we go to sleep, she said, give a kiss to the, the picture. She said, Abba and Nima, father and mother, good night. Brutalities and acts of senseless terror and violence can shake and disturb the strongest of us. No one really knows what Moshe saw on that bloody night. But psychiatrists who have been counseling him for the last two years say, thankfully, the scars of terror have not left on him any damaging imprint. You are taking baby Moshe to a psychiatrist mm -hmm. to prepare him perhaps for the eventuality when you need to tell him exactly tell him what happened. His parents, yes. uh, from his, uh, the psychiatrist's uh, side, uh, up till now, he's uh, normal. He's perfect like any other kid. Do you think he's still in pain because of all, all that he's experienced? I think so, and I think so also for him it's better. If you don't tell him nothing, father or mother, and when he's big, then you make a lot, a lot show, show you, where my father, where my mother, why you don't tell me before? It be something new for him, which he didn't uh, know before. However, Moshe's memories of his stay in Mumbai seem intact, just like his mumblings in Hindi. She said, my home is in Mumbai. I, I have two homes. I have here in Israel one home, and my home is in Mumbai. When I big, I go back to my home. And inside, the baby, wait, when I big, when I can, doing the same thing what my father and mother are doing. It's hard, but uh, we are happy that he is with us. We try to be young as much as we can. It's a miracle from Hashem, from God, that this boy will be alive and will be one from five people from one family. It's very, we don't understand why it, Hashem wanted, God wanted that it will be. As he converses with us, Moshe calls out to his grandfather, who instinctively responds by calling him by his son, Gabriel's name. Gabriel. Do 
you know who's this weather? This weather is Gabi's. Uh, my the father father's Gabi. He said, okay, I know, and I understand why, because it's all a little. Okay, uh, so you're wearing your son's sweater today? Yes. Not special, just, uh, you know, for... No, fine, only this. I, I just <laughs> take it, I didn't think before. When you look at him, who do you see? Do you see Gabriel in him? Yes, exactly. Of course, of course. Exactly. You see everything in him, Gabriel. Everything. Every millimeter. Everything what he do, you do. Exactly. I'm going to show you pictures. I have pictures from Gabi now. He's a child. I'm going to show you the pictures. This is exactly like his father. And also, everything what I think, I think, ah, this will be for Moshe when he come big. You're working today for his future? Yes, yes. Of course. Not because I see him then, Gabi. Just like you did, who also see the daughter Rivka in Moshe's eyes. I With no one to care for Moshe, Sandra moved here to Israel as she was the only one little Moshe would respond to. For Sandra, Israel walked the extra mile to express gratitude for her heroic deed. They granted her an honorary citizenship. If there is pain and sorrow in life, joy and happiness really can't be too far. Sandra's story is one of hope. For the Israelis, her act of heroism was a reflection of a Jewish tradition. Save one life and you save an entire nation. The Israelis discovered in her a new citizen. But Sandra simply discovered her own self. I'm very, very happy to say that I'm in Israel. In India, it's, uh, mentality is very, very different, uh, especially uh, of the women. So when I come here, so my thinking changes. I'm more free-minded, uh, I think more open, like in India, it was like, you know, my husband, my house, my children, that's me. But yeah, it's not like that. As a woman, you found also far more respect. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, more respect, you know, respect for myself. Everybody has their own life and that I've come to know and I've, you know, taken that in my, for myself. So tomorrow when I go back, I know that I, I have uh, got something for myself. Three years on, Moshe has found emotional support in his larger family, but Sandra still remains the first choice. As we were interviewing her, Moshe hurt himself while playing. And watch, this is what happened next. Baby too. Last week I went to the uh, uh, cemetery and uh, I talked to her and I tell her, I know your baby's become big. Growing up he is with his eyes set on becoming a rabbi in Mumbai, just like his father. And Moshele is becoming rabbi from the whole Bombay. He'll become the next rabbi, you Yes, think? of course. No question. Yeah, I believe also the security will be allowed, allowed better from before. Security at Jewish locations in India, a sensitive issue, as questions have been raised if India's security forces could have done more to save hostages at Nariman House. Their apprehensions now clear, with the new location of the Khabar House kept a secret. Plan to build another Khabar, two new Khabar houses, in, I didn't want to say where because of security. Yeah, yeah. Are you are still asking questions as to why did this have to happen? The question is still there, of course. Big questions. Nobody can understand why it happened and why nobody not can make to save that. 
I didn't want to say, to point out with my finger who can be involved, who can help and that cannot help. For a lot of reasons, political problems and other problems. But I know, sure, if they want, they can save it. No question. You see, this is from God. It's nothing if you have better military, nothing. But not everyone agrees. Here in the old city in Jerusalem, where Jews and Arabs rub shoulders, these quiet roads, a reflection perhaps of the relative dip in violence between Israelis and Palestinians, a welcome oasis of peace. And therefore, with all the self-criticism, you have to look on the outside and see why did this occur. Israeli statesman Dor Gold says Israel has learned larger lessons from 2611. The audacity of the organization, Lashkar al Taibi must be related to the fact that Pakistan has nuclear weapons because they felt they were operating under the protective umbrella uh, that Pakistan had created for them. We are now counting the months until Iran acquires a nuclear capacity, a nuclear capability. And if Iran has nuclear weapons, will it provide a nuclear umbrella over Hezbollah, Hamas, and all the organizations that receive operational training and funding from Iran. Back in Afula, the worries, the pain, more personal. Only one person has been caught till now, Kasab. Are you frustrated, angry? Listen, what, what I have if I'm angry inside? Nothing. It's yes, Kasab, lit Kasab, not Kasab, is dead. Not, not to not uh, bring back, back the, the, if not bring back the, my, my children, what I have from this? It's enough. The tragedy is so bad for us. It's enough. Have you forgiven all those terrorists who... No. No. no of course not. You can't forgive. No. Don't you forget. No. Sure. A man which killed my child, I'll forgive him? Never. But then, is ever closure possible? Never they lament. The loss cannot be compensated. I think I said this um, before three years ago. It doesn't change me. Exactly for this thing. Every day I'm crying and, and remember him, Rifke, Gabriel, my son. I want the, 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 the government of India make something for memory of, of my children in Mumbai. And uh, this is give you know, a little peace. peace, a little. That first. Then when she boy, when a big boy, go back to the same place, that's, you know, finish the, the, the circle. And, uh, yeah, and also, I said also to the government to India, please give citizen for Moshe Boy. For now, the only solace, little Moshe, in whom they find memories of a happy past and hope for a better future. With camera person Rajesh Sonar, in Israel, Tejas Mehta for NDTV.